Hello friends and welcome to the crux of the matter. The doctrine of the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell, is an important doctrine that no human person should take lightly. One day we shall die and be judged. Our eternity will either be one of salvation in heaven with Christ and the saints, or it will be one of reprobation in hell with the devils and the damned. The choice is ours to make. The doctrine of the four last things also means that there is no such thing as reincarnation, but that immediately after death, each person is judged and receives his or her eternal destiny based on the mortal living of their life here on earth. Death puts an end to human life as the time open to either accepting or rejecting the divine grace manifested in Jesus Christ, and so each person receives his or her eternal retribution in their immortal soul at the very moment of death. This is called the particular judgment. The particular judgment refers one's life to Christ with an entrance into heaven, which can be either immediate or delayed by a prior purification in purgatory, or with an entrance into hell, which is immediate and everlasting. This teaching is clearly upheld by sacred scripture, tradition, and the magisterium of Holy Mother Church, her teaching authority. The doctrine of the four last things is not meant to frighten us, not at all. Rather, it is meant to lead us to live more faithful Christian lives here on earth. One meditation sums this up beautifully when it states, death, judgment, heaven, and hell are the four last things toward which we are moving each hour of the day and night. They will never frighten us if our conscience is clear, if we love God in our daily life and are sincerely trying to know and follow his holy will, we have no reason to fear. By keeping this eternal goal ever before us, we shall think straight when life's problems and difficulties face us. We must strive to always become eternity-minded. That's the crux of the matter. I'm Father Wade Menezes of the Fathers of Mercy. Thanks for watching EWTN.